For the final challenge, it's time for another all-comers challenge on the rig. He's back again this week after a stirring victory seven days ago. British Nintendo champion, Thomas Patterson. <laughs> Okay, Thomas, you had a, a good win under your belt last week. You're still confident? Yep, sure am. Yep, no problems for you at all? No. I like this guy, I tell you. All right, then, if there's any member of our audience who'd like to take on Thomas Patterson in any Nintendo game, stick your hands up in the air. Okay, let me see. No, definitely not you. Definitely not. How about this? Yes, the ginger-haired fellow there with the spectacles. If you'd like to make your way down, give a round of applause, everyone. Welcome to the show. What's your name? Keith Pentland. And where are you from, Keith? Keith Ness in Scotland. Keith Ness. Right, listen, Keith, what are you going to challenge Thomas on tonight? Super Soccer and the Super Nintendo. Right, football. Now, Thomas, I know you're a Rangers fan, but you're also intelligent. Is this a problem? <laughs> I don't know, Tim. Oh, sorry, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Funny guy. Uh, I think I'll win. I should. All right, then. If you'd like to take your places in, Keith will put you on the left, Thomas on the right. Keith, I hope you stuff him. While our nubile young T-boy Cameron fishes this game out of the store, I'll have a little chat with Jim Douglas from the Games Master magazine. Jim, any net-busting tips for this game? Yeah, the man-to-man -man marking is very good, so dribbling is probably the best policy. Also, the uh, best way to tackle is to get a shoulder barge in, but if the referee sees you, you will be sent off. OK, we are playing two one-minute halves here. Keith Pentland against Thomas Patterson. Are you ready, guys? Yep. yep. Then kick off. OK, Keith's playing Holland, playing up the pitch. Thomas is playing West Germany, playing oh, down the pitch. It's Thomas with a ball strong, just now. Right? He's got oh, a ball in. They are short of here. Oh, the referee didn't see it. That could have been dangerous. It could be an automatic sending off under the Certainly. new FA rules. OK, it's Holland there in the their half of the pitch, though. They've got a clear, lovely little shoulder charge oh, from the oh, Dutch yes, number very, seven. Very nice, oh, but Germany have got it. Germany number 10, no, but now Holland have got it. Oh, the Dutch oh. number 11 gets it. It's a oh, cross it's in, in the, the box. Yeah, no, it's a oh, goal! Oh, so Keith Pentland is one up. Germany kick off, they've given the possession away again though. But Germany have got it. Oh here goes yeah. Germany oh. goes to the corner. Oh, Brilliant. Oh, oh, that means that Thomas Patterson's pulled it level. The Dutch kick off here. Nice little bit of dribble there. Nice tackle. It's up with the Dutch oh, number nine. He takes the shot again. in the corner, oh, but it just misses. Just wide. So it's a goal kick to Germany. German number four looking pensive, kicks out to German number three. That's up to German number ten, and German number nine's got it. Evades his man, the number ten's oh, got it in the box. Gets it down, he'll shoot it to the oh, save. Gets the rebound! Oh, the rebound. Two one! Oh. Kurt scoring there for Thomas Patterson. That's right, that long dribbling policy is really paying off. It certainly is. They've given away again, here comes Germany again. Now we've got the German number seven, they're tossing in the midfield, but it's oh, half time! Oh. The score is Germany two, Holland one. So the teams come back onto the pitch for the start of the second half. Germany now playing up the pitch, Holland playing down. Is it easier playing up the pitch in this game? Yeah, it certainly is. When you're coming down, you've got the disadvantage of not being able to see the goal. You can't see where you're aiming. OK, and oh no, Germany take control again in the midfield here. German number nine gets it. He's seen a lot of the ball. He's got the half well. touch there, but the Dutch defence got it there. Oh, it's off the post! Oh, a relentless attack on goal. How close can you get? They've had so many chances. The Dutch are having problems clearing their lines, but now there's a counter attack with the number 10. He evades the shoulder charge of the German defender. Oh, doing very well. Lovely bit of skill for the Dutch oh, number 10. He's in the marvellous. box. He shoots. Oh. Lovely save there. Diving save from the German very keeper. Good. He doesn't have a lot German of time still left. still might have danger here, though. Oh, and it's out for a goal kick. A little bit of breathing space for the Germans here. The Dutch have really got to pull something out the bag here now, Jim. Yeah, they really have. But, um, the challenges that are going on are ever so hard. I don't think the ref's really paying much attention. I, think, I think the ref's gone. I, I think he's, uh... <laughs> he's given up. And here comes the Dutch. The German get it back here. Oh. Could we see another goal from the Germans? Oh, oh, it's a foul. Here comes the ref. Is he going to clamp down? Oh, no, oh, no. Very lenient today. We very felt he, he should have been off for that one. Here comes Jim. This is probably going to be the last attack in the game unless the Dutch can get it back quickly. Carefully and selecting where he's putting the ball. Oh, the Germans have got it. The oh, score is two seconds left. It's straight and down. The goalie gets oh. it, but it's all over and now. The referee blows the final whistle. Germany win 2 1, which means Thomas Patterson is undefeated. <laughs> A 
was a great game, but listen, Keith, I had all my hopes on you. You started off well, you gave me an early goal, then what happened? Well, the goalkeeper, he just must have taken the day off. Terrible. Well, which means, although I'm loath to admit, Thomas, you played a brilliant game and you won. What have you got to say for yourself? Well, the goalie was like Gordon Marshall, but he lets another go, so I won easily. <laughs> right, well, I think we can discuss that one well into the night. Listen, Thomas, we think you're too good for a, anything like a golden joystick, but will you come back next week to take on someone else? Ah, no sweat. All right, then, we'll look forward to that. Another round of applause, then, for Nintendo champion Thomas Patterson and his challenger, Keith Pentland.